again fellow YouTubers. Today I shall be doing a iPhone 6 review. Now you're probably wondering what happened to the 50 Shades of Grey video. Well I am actually going to do that at some point, I just don't know when. And also I haven't had enough votes on whether I should do it yet. Just check out my last video and either like or dislike it or comment or on your opinion whether I should do it or not. So yeah that would be really really great help. But for now, I'm going to get on to this other video about the iPhone 6. So, first of all, this is actually the first ever iPhone I've ever had. Because I've always had Android phones before. But I really wanted to try out an iPhone. And obviously the iPhone 6 had just come out, or well, not long come out, when I got this phone. So, first I shall talk about the camera. Well, the camera is about, I think it's 8 megapixels. I think, I think the old, the old one, it was about five. I'm not too sure. You probably think that's not, that's not very good. But um, it does take some pretty good photos, for example, and I shall show you one of my photos now. Because I also do photography, and sometimes I take photos on my phone rather than on my camera, because so, I haven't got my camera with me, or I'm being particularly lazy, I can't bother to bring it. So, um, I should show you a photo I took recently that I actually used on my photography page that was taken on my iPhone, which I was quite impressed with. It don't be a rainbow, basically, outside my house. But, I know it's not, you can't really brilliantly see it, but, yeah, that is, I, I was quite impressed. I'm pretty impressed with the camera on, on this. You go to shops and buy extra lenses, Fisher lenses, you know, zoom lenses, and you can use them on your phone as well to attach them to your phone. You can take really good photos of it. So, obviously, don't be put off by the whole megapixel um, problem. Um, it's obviously it's actually bigger than the old iPhones. I haven't actually got an old iPhone to show you, but obviously, I have got my I I iPod. This is my iPod 5th generation and it's about the same size I think as the iPod iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5C is really like exactly the same thing just without this doesn't do calls and text it does do iMessage and FaceTime this is the, I, the iPhone looking different in screen size as well the screen's a lot bigger it's a little tiny bit thicker as well Another thing that I like about the iPhone 6 back there is the um, switch, so you can switch your phone from now to silent. It took me a while to actually realise how to do it, because I on my, on my iPod, if I want to put my iPod on silent, I just turn the volume right down until it says silent or mute. But you can't do that on the iPod, on the iPhone. You have to actually use the switch at the side. And, um, <clears throat> but it's actually pretty useful, so it's better than having to go all the way to settings and Finding the sound and going to silent. Obviously, you can turn off vibrate as well if you just, just have it completely silent. And of course, you have the uh, do not disturb mode as well, where you just literally just there's a like a little moon, there's a little moon just about there, and completely mutes everything. So, when you if you're like busy somewhere or, or asleep, like when I'm asleep, I put it on. It, when, if anyone texts you, messages you, or and literally anything, and into any notification whatsoever, it literally it just completely mutes it, and it won't even flash up on your lock screen either. Another thing I like is if the um, home button breaks, like my house on my iPod, you go into accessibility mode, and you can get like an actual home sc home button put on your screen. You touch the home button, it comes out of all the normal, you no know, Siri and menu and all that, like you would normally have. Then you have the um, you know, I also have this new thing on my phone where I go into accessibility and it has um, it says LED, LED flash for alerts. I've got that on as well because notification, unless it's on do not disturb mode obviously. My, the light on the back of my phone actually lights up so, so I know and it, actually, and it catches my attention if I'm in my bedroom and my phone goes off and I want my phone to sign up or whatever. I've just got even this a game notification. The um, light will flash and I'll know it's gone off. Also, as you probably notice, I've got the golden white version of the iPhone, which I really, really like. No, not blue and black, golden white. If anyone says those, any of those jokes. But um, actually, when I got the phone, I did actually say, oh, did it come in blue and black? Because I don't have a banter. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, yeah, it's gold, you know, there's the golden white version. And I don't know what other colours there are, but I think there's like normal white, and I think there might be normal gold, but I'm not too sure. They told me I have to check, check that one, but I think colour's really important, but whatever. Um, Siri can tell you, I don't, know, I don't know about other iPhones, I'm sure it does it everywhere, but on this phone, Siri, Siri can tell you the weather. For example, watch this. Siri, is it going to rain today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain. Apparently it's going to be very windy though, according to this, but anyway. Yeah, so you can just ask it like if it's going to be rainy, if it's going to be sunny, if I ask it if it's going to be sunny today. Siri, is it going to be sunny today? We'll see some sunshine today. Sunny today. See, I quite like Siri. But also you can have some really funny conversations with Siri, but I might make that into, like, into another video rather than do one, do one now, so it doesn't always work out. So I might, it doesn't hear what I'm saying, but I'll be or whatever. So. Uh, there is a iOS 9 coming out, I don't know if anyone knows about that. It'll be, I've, I've looked up a little bit, I don't know much about it, but there's a few new features, like they're changing maps apparently. Apple Maps is being changed and... Um, They've got this new thing called Apple Pay. You can pay for things using your phone. Um, Siri's having a transformation again. They're changing Siri, um, and they're just they're just changing. It's basically a man of a massive update. I can't. I don't know a lot about it, but I just know about the whole Apple Pay and they're changing Siri and they're changing Maps. There's a few new things being added to it as well. Obviously, when you get an iPhone, no, you'll get like a little thing that says Tips. There's like a little light bulb icon, I don't know if I've got it on here somewhere. And um, it, tell, it just tells you things to do with your phone. Also you can get a free iPhone guide on iBooks. So you download it off iBooks and then it tells you all about your phone, basically. <laughs> what you can do with it. For example, that's the tips. It's a tiny bit about the visual alerts I actually recently turned on. It has all these different tips. This is quite cool. And if you download that free iPhone guide on iBooks for your iPhone. And um, another thing that I would... But another thing I actually like about this is that you can unlock your phone with your fingerprint. I don't know if it's going to work, so I'm going to try and do it while showing you. Because I'm doing a different thing, but... See, there, there you go, it's unlocked my phone. I've had to put my password in, which I really like. Because sometimes I can't be bothered to keep putting my... my password in and I get a message or whatever so I'm just like I put my thumb there and it unlocks which is really useful and it's also same when you go to download an app you can just use a fingerprint instead that's it that for fingerprint is new for iPhone 6 because my iPod and iPhones before it don't do fingerprint recognition yet I know there's an iPhone 7 coming out who's probably will have it um there is actually an app I want to tell you about if you're a student like me or just want to earn a bit of money, there is an app called Feature Points, which, is, to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, it does sound too good to be true, sounds like a virus, and I'm not the kind of person who would ever promote or download any kind of, I'm so, because I'm so paranoid about these kind of things. So, <laughs> you can guarantee this isn't fake, it's legit. It's an app where you, where companies give this app uh, they asked this app to, um, to promote their app from the app store where and this, this company then gives you apps to download when you download these apps you get points and then you can obviously use these points to get rewards and you can actually get paid like you can actually redeem your points for a paypal cash reward you also get things like xbox live codes but if you want to check it out i'll be posting my referral code comment section and I'll post my code and my referral link. But you have to be on your please remember to be on your phone when you press the link or use the code. You only get one chance to use the code as well. So obviously you get a fifty point sign up bonus if you get referred by someone else. Which is also really good. And you can either press the link to download it and then it should just come up on your phone automatically. It automatically gives you my code. And I should also sign you up. If it doesn't, I'll also put the, the single single code underneath. So you can put that in as well when it comes up with please enter your code. Just put that code in. You have to obviously Google feature points. Or obviously press a link I give you to, to actually download it. And you can't do it on the computer. 
to make sure you're on your phone, like I said, redo it. But I really would recommend this app because if you have, if you got, if you done, all you have to do is download the app. It gives you instructions. Download the app, play it five or up to one minute, or finish all the tutorials if it's a game, and then you'll get your points. And then obviously the points rack up, and then you can actually redeem them for cash prizes, Xbox, PlayStation codes. You get iTunes gift cards. It's you know it's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. And I would honestly would recommend the iPhone. I, I love it now. I've got it. I love going from Android. I, I just really enjoy mine. So I love having iMessage and FaceTime as well, which I really enjoy. It's like having Skype. Yeah, obviously you have to have an iPhone. To use FaceTime. Your friend has to have an iPhone as well. Absolutely brilliant. But I um, haven't actually got to, had a chance to use mine yet. I have used it in my iPod before, and I do really like. I love FaceTime and iMessage. So. Obviously everyone's got their own opinions on it, but I personally really love mine and thank you for watching, sorry it's so long. If you watch my videos regularly, I'm really, really grateful and I'm sorry I'm, I never I could ever do them because I'm obviously I'm back at work. And if you want an iPhone, I'd definitely recommend getting one. See you later guys!